The steps in this video are going to be to quickly retrieve our Weather Underground app which was deprecated due to the API being broken. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate an API then we're going to upload it to the core files. The reason for Weather Underground versus some alternatives like Yahoo and there's some great alternatives don't get me wrong but we don't have widgets here. This is actually an XBMC install. This is not Kodi. This is 13.2 Gotham. Uh, even in Kodi, the Yahoo install, when you actually go into your weather widget, you do not see the little additional widgets. So, a little bit of extra benefits through having Weather Underground here. And basically, if you're finding this, you're interested in looking it up. So, this is the way to do it. I'm going to share my little cheat sheet here with you, which is going to be a site that just has the walkthrough for this. I actually wrote it up. Uh, and then you're going to go to weatherunderground.com, which is going to be wonderground.com, so it's just the W for weather, then underground, more, weather API for developers. I'm going to create a new account for these purposes. I have an existing account I'm going to end up using, but I want to be able to walk through all the steps here. So once you've hit, or jump back to that step, so weatherunderground.com, more, Weather API for developers. Sign up for free. And we're first going to create our account and then we need to create our app or our API. So I've already used my email so I'm just going to do this one because it's not going to let me use that twice. And you can use whatever email is yours. Uh, in fact you can look at this key but I'm going to end up canceling this account so it's not going to do you a lick of good and we're just going to do, I'm sure that one's taken, so let's do TREP27, uh, agree to their terms of service, sign up, it's going to send you an email verification, it's a standard set up, sign up process here. After it loads, alright, so confirmation email, oh look I happen to be logged in. Just follow your confirmation email, go ahead and click over to it, and it's going to have you sign in again, so just remember email, not the actual username that you created so that's the email created this would be your email type in your password and log into your weather underground account nope I don't want to save that uh, so once you're here which is where you'll be when you log in just go to pricing and under the default settings go to purchase key and note here zero US dollars we're not spending a freaking dime purchase key, contact name, I don't mind being legit with the name here, contact email, they already have this one, let's just keep doing this one. And project name, we'll just do that one, sorry, populated. Project website, you don't need to do anything here, but I have a website so I'll go ahead and populate it. Just don't do mobile, just do your website there, no big deal. Will the API be used for commercial use? Absolutely not. Select a country. Again, you could probably just fill in some nonsense here. And I don't even think you need to fill in anything here under the description. I did. You probably do not need to. You could just BS that information if you want just check all the boxes or else it's not going to let this purchase key go and again that number was zero we haven't put any credit card information anything like that alright so grab your key which is going to be here under key ID so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that what we need to do first is we need to reverse this text now this is where the paths diverge once you have your key generated because you need to do those steps no matter what you can download an app which is linked to from the complete how-to I provide and you can install an application that will do the following steps for you but you have to have another application, another add-on in your Kodi install. I prefer not to have that so I'm going ahead and jump into this so I'm going to provide all these links for you so we just need a reverse text. Uh, go ahead and delete all this nonsense and just paste your application key. So that's my application key and you won't be using mine because you only get 100 hits per day so uh, I just pasted it in there and I clicked reverse text found right here go ahead and copy your output 
Now we need to make that reverse API key base64. So at this link here, which I will also provide, is base64encode.org. Go ahead and paste your reversed API key, and UTF-8 works in code. And now we have our output here. You want to copy that. Now you need to have hidden files visible on your Windows machine in order to navigate to this path. And again, I'm running a XBMC install, which is 13.2 Gotham, so mine's going to be a little different. I'll tell you where that happens, but you need to go to your drive that your XBMC is installed on, or really that your add-ons is installed on. Go into your users, your username, app data. You see how it's grayed out? Because it's a hidden file. You need to view hidden files, roaming, and I'm going to look for XBMC. You're going to look for Cody, potentially, if you're running Cody. Then you need to go to. So I'm gonna hit up my cheat sheet real quick because I don't remember the exact path and I don't want to stumble and bumble along. Uh, roaming, XBMC, add-ons, weather underground, resources, and then lib. So add-ons, and then all off bell cord the way I have it sorted. Weather underground. So no matter what, you're gonna go to these steps here, but yours might be Cody instead of XBMC in this path. And then resources, lib, this weatherunderground.py file, go ahead and click on that, right click, and then open with, and you can choose, we'll just do notepad for ease and because we're on this machine that doesn't have notepad++ or something a little more exotic. So. This string right here, right after WAIK, and again, I still have that reversed API key, that base64 encoded API key copied to my dashboard. I'm going to paste it right here. Make sure not to grab those single quotes. So I'm going to make sure I'm not grabbing those, but after WAIK, capitalize, and these will be spaced a little better if you use a better text editor. And I'm just gonna paste my code in there. The code I'm pasting looks similar to the code that was in there because it's the deprecated API key. So I just pasted that in there again. WAI key string IO WAI key import blah blah blah. Within those single quotes, replace what was there with the number that you have just produced. Go ahead and file, save, or control S, whatever you want to do. I should have quit XBMC prior. Let me go ahead and quit it now. And we're going to load XPMC back up. After I quit it from my tasks, which it seems like it's still a process. And it is. So once able, and now it's gone, load XPMC back up. And again, all we did was pasted that reversed and then base64 encoded code into that py file voila we have widgets back again the other option is after you've generated your API key you get an add-on that I will provide the link to as well and you just paste that API key you don't need to reverse it or base64 encode it but then you have an extra add-on in your install so weigh the pros and cons take what you like give me a holler if you have any questions thanks bye